Hello guys, welcome back. My name remains Sheya Deleke, the CEO of Apple Technology. Okay, this is video three of how to create a blog that generates 500,000 error to 1 million error every 30 days. And uh, in the first video, I talked about introduction to blogging and the basic tools you need to create a blog. And uh, in the second video also, I talked about niche. So, if you missed any of these videos, do yourself a favor now by watching the video. I dish out value big time. And right in this third video now, we'll be talking about domain and hosting. Domain and hosting. But before the full explanation, let me say this. When it comes to blogging, there are free platforms you can use to create a blog without paying for hosting and domain. There are four platforms you can actually use to create your blog without paying for hosting and domain. Okay, and the example of such platform is Blogger. Blogger.com. It's owned by Google. Blogger.com. Let me go to the site now. www.blogger.com. Okay, type it there. Okay, so this is the platform now. This is blogger.com. The page is still loading. So, if you want to create your blog now, all you have to do is just to click on create your blog and then you select your Gmail and from there just continue. Okay. However, the bad side of this kind of platform is that your files will be on their server. Everything about your blog will be on their server. Your image, the image you use for the blog, the logo, the videos, your content, your articles, everything, it will be on their server. And uh, you can lose it if their server crash. Once their server crash, that means your file is gone. Or if the company shuts down that platform. I mean, your server, your files are gone too. Your blog is gone. Another thing is that the company can also delete your blog anytime. They might just wish to delete your blog. They, they might tell you that you violated their service, their policy rather, and they will shut down your blog. There is nothing you can do about it. If that happens, that means you have to start all over again. Also, if you choose this free platform, there are some things you can actually do. You can customize a lot of things, and that is not good for your money making blog. Because actually, you need to add some plugins and then modify some content, add some widget, which is not 100% possible on some of these free platforms. Okay? Another disadvantage of free blogging is that your blog URL will be a subdomain. To be a subdomain, like uh, let me give an example now. Shady.blogspots.com. That means normally, if you want to name your blog Shady.com now, it is not possible. The name of the platform has to be there. That means your user will have to type Shady.blogspot. Honestly, if you are serious about making money, this is not your best option. You don't use a free platform. All right? Let me walk you through. The steps to get your own domain and hosting at a very very cheap price okay firstly what is a domain name let's break that down so you get a meaning of what I'm trying to say what's a domain name a domain name is your blog name it is a unique name that points to your website okay let me just write that down now a domain name is your blog name it is a unique name that points to your blog okay with a domain name now visitors can easily assess your blog for instance now if you want to visit Linda Ikeji's blog now all you have to do is to enter the domain name on your web browser, Linda Ikeji now, her domain name is a 
www.lindaikagesblog.com okay now lindaikagesblog.com that is our domain name okay that is our domain name and it is unique it belongs to that blog alone it is very very unique also now if you want to go to ninja loaded now all you have to do is just to enter www www.ninjaloaded.com and then once you type it on your browser it will take you to ninja loaded blog because of what that domains that domain name belongs to them they are the owner of that domain so it belongs to them okay now we also have a nairaland.com nairaland.com that's a domain name like massivewestclick.com that's a domain name do you understand this now great now for your own blog too, you will need to think of a domain name that is a unique name for your blog. The name should be related to what your blog is all about. Think about a unique name for your blog. And the name has to be related to what your blog is all about. For instance now, if you want to focus on ethnic now, the, do the domain name could be www.edme.com Your domain name could be www.edme.com And there also we also have a lot of extensions we have a lot of domain extension we have a .com we have a .co we have dot org we have dot me we have dot store we have dot gov dot etc so for a blog now dot com is your best option it has to be whatever name you want let's say shayi dot com okay so that's that now once you decide on the name the next thing you have to do is to go to the domain and hosting company to verify if the name is available remember I said it has to be a unique name so you have to go to domain and those things company now to check for that name to check if there is no one using that name already for their blog or website so and then we have a lot of companies that offer such services we have a name chief we have a Google host Google host we have a just post we have godaddy and a lot of them like that but personally i prefer name cheap and the, before i walk you through the steps you also need to buy hosting alongside the domain and aside from the domain name that you're getting you also need to get hosting you need to buy hosting and the, what is hosting hosting makes your site accessible Hosting makes your blog accessible to the world wide web. World wide web. Okay. Hosting makes your blog accessible to the world wide web. It is more like a, a visual space. Yeah. See that way. Hosting is more like a visual space, like a server where you store all your files, the images. The videos and other content that comprises your blog. Okay, I hope you are clear right now. See hosting as a server where you store your website, where you store your domain, and your blog rather. It's where you store your files, your images. Okay, now to get your domain and hosting, now let's go to namecheap.com. www.namecheap.com. Let's go right now. Type it on the browser. So this is Namecheap website right now. So you can scroll down and read the whole thing. Now the first thing you have to do is just to make use of this search box here and enter your domain name. Enter the name you want to check. Eddie me. Let's come. Search. Let's see if the name is available. As you can see now, 
this domain name is not available so that means if this happens now you have to think of another name or you add something to it maybe a previous or a service like now i can say edimeng.com let me see if that is available you can see this is available now so that is how to get a unique name just try to coin out a very lovely name that is related to your blog to what your blog is all about now once the name is available the next thing you have to do is just to click on add to cart add to cart good now you click on view cart okay now you can see domain is for a year and if you want two years three years you can actually select it okay now if you want to add hosting to it this is just for domain alone so with hosting just click here click here okay click on add to cart a month subscription that's for one month hosting so that means all together now i'll be paying 11 dollar that's for domain for a year domain and the month subscription of hosting that's just 11.94 dollar let's convert that to naira 11 94 multiply by the current exchange rate that's just like four thousand plus four thousand three hundred so that's the amount you pay then you click on confirm order once you do that they will ask you to pay with your ATM card. Immediately you make payment, the cPanel details will be sent to your email. It will contain the URL as your username. It will contain the URL, your username, and your password. Nothing more. So all you have to do right now is to log into your cPanel, install your WordPress, and choose a theme for your blog. That's simple as that. Let me repeat that. Once you get your cPanel details, log into your cpanel and then uh, install your wordpress and choose a theme okay i don't want this video to be too long so in the next video now i'll talk about content creation content creation following through this procedure now i believe you should be able to actually get a domain and hosting for your blog so in the next video we'll talk about how to write a very good content i hope you are enjoying this six days full training Please go to the chat box right now and share your opinion. Let me know if this training is making sense to you or not. Okay? Also, remember to make use of the share button below this video and share with your friends on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.